What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Moo Moo Trades, where we're going to show you guys the easiest and simplest setup that if you learn how to master, you're going to be able to make some money day in and day out just trading this one setup over and over and over again. Now, even though it might be simple, it takes a long time to master it. So what you got to do is watch the entirety of the video and make sure to practice, practice, practice. Otherwise, if you're not going to watch the video, just click away right now. Because believe me, there's going to be some valuable information. So strap on, put your seatbelts on, do whatever you got to do. Get some popcorn, get by your laptop, sit back and enjoy the show. Let's get into it. And the setup that we are going to go over today is going to be very, very powerful, especially in trending markets. It's nothing new. It's simple. And pretty much every trader knows about it. It's the second entry long two legged pullback, whatever you want to call it. We're just going to show what it looks like and teach any beginners what you guys need to know how to spot these. So when we're looking at a trending market like this and we see that there's a strong uptrend, we want to look for second entry longs. Now, a first entry is whenever a bar like this, any bar on the, on the, on the chart, any candlestick breaks above the one previous to it. So we're looking for any pullback and we see that there's a first entry long right there where that green arrow is pointing because this bar broke above this one. Now, the first entry long is not a high probability setup and we want to what we always want to look for is the second entry long. So once we see that there's one leg down, a first entry long, a second leg down and a potential second entry long if the next bar breaks above this one, then we want to put our buy order one tick above this signal bar where the blue arrow is. And as we see, the trade would have worked out for a one point scalp. Just to show you guys, if we would have entered one tick above this bar, that would have been 3816. And the next bar went all the way up to 318.25. So it would have been good for a two point scalp. And this is the ES S&P 500 uh, futures market. And for every point that equates to $50. And that's if you're trading one contract. You can scale up all the way to 5, 10, 15, 20, 100 contracts maybe. Um, so as we, as we know, this can get very, very profitable and just mastering this one setup can make you, can really change your life. So I'm going to go into a, another setup and show you guys what's next. And the same factors apply when we're looking at a downtrend or a bearish looking market or trend channel. And instead of the first entry long, second entry long setup, we want to look for the first entry short, second entry short setups. So what we're going to look for is we're counting from this new low and any pullback allows us for an opportunity uh, to go short. So as we're going from this new low, as soon as the first bar breaks below the one previous to it, that creates a first entry short. So this is where we see the first entry short because this bearish bar obviously broke below that one. Once again, the high probability setups are not the first entry shorts, but the second entry shorts. So as soon as a bar breaks above one previous to it, like this one, when the next bar breaks below that, that will create a second entry short because it's acting as a second pullback. This leg, this green leg is one leg up creating a first entry short opportunity as discussed. And when there's another leg up, if the next bar breaks below this one, that'll create a second entry short. Now, as we will see, the next bar actually didn't break below that. So the second entry short is triggered only with this bearish bar. And once again, we would go short one tick below the signal bar with the blue arrow and it would have worked out for a great trade. Now, as we stated about this green bar not breaking below the one previous to it, 
It does add a little more complexity to the trade, but this video is really just to show you guys the basic, basic premises of these entries. And as we see, and we're going, 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 we kept going lower and lower. Let's look if we can see any more second entry short opportunities. So we're counting from this new low. We went up, we had one pullback. Here's a first entry short. And we didn't get a second entry short opportunity. So let's keep going along. And as we see, if we're counting from this new low right here, we were going up. We had a first entry short because this bar broke below that one. And we went up again. And a second entry short arose right there because that bar broke below this one. Now, once again, this is not a textbook entry because these bars are not very bearish, but it's just to illustrate to you guys how the second entry shorts look like. And yeah, guys, I mean, as I said, today was just really a basic, basic, basic video to show you guys the uh, premise of the two-legged pullback, second entry short, second entry long setups. Um, we're going to have a lot more complex videos. All my previous videos are more complex than this, but I just want to see uh, what you guys think of these simpler videos. So let me know in the comments, and I hope you guys have a good one. Peace out.